I'm Rachel and you're watching Calkine TV live from Sydney. This is the Market Movers show where you take you through the trending ASX listed stocks that are on the gainers trajectory every day. But before I share the updates on the top gainers of the day, let's take a look at the overmarket updates. The ASX 200 is trading lower on Thursday amid concerns around a surge in inflation in the US. The inflation-related fears are expected to keep the global stocks under pressure in the coming few days as investors anticipate an interest rate hike by the Federal Reserve. This will result in further sell-off of growth stocks. Eight of 11 of our sectors remain in the red, while information technology fell over 4%. A reads financials, energy, telecommunication services, materials, consumer discretionary and industrials also remain weak currently. Healthcare is the best performing sector so far today. Here are five ASX gainers of the day. The first stock on the list of the top gainers today is the shares of food and beverages firm Grain Corp surged over 8% to hit the day's high of $5.58 eyeing its best one-day gain since the 13th of November 2020. The company posted 88.9% jump in first half underlying net profit after tax from continuous operations. The company also declared a fully franked interim dividend of $0.08 cents per share. They didn't declare a dividend a year ago. The company sees financial year 2021 underlying NPAT in the range of $80 million to $105 million. That's compared to a loss of $16 million posted in financial year 2021. The company stated an increase in agribusiness earnings was driven by larger crop and raised grain volumes. Moving on now to the next stock in the list of top gainers today. Energy stock Whitehaven Coal soared almost 6% to the intraday high of $1.25. The stock may have surged as hopes of a faster than previous expected recovery pushed oil prices to an eight-week high on Wednesday. The stock has, however, remained under pressure in the past few days, and it did give negative returns of almost 50% in the last one month. The stock of food and beverages company Treasury Wine Estates is up just over 5% today to $10.45. The company did forecast a drop in key earnings for the full year as the world's largest listed winemaker reels from the impact of steep Chinese tariffs on Australian wine. However, expected financial year 2021 earnings before interest tax and self-generating and regenerating assets was reported between $495 million and $515 million. The numbers are ahead of current market consensus expectations, representing a growth of 33% in the second half of 2021. That's against the previous corresponding period. Moving on to the next gainer now, the stock of the oil and gas company Osnet Services surged 4.5% to $1.82. The stock's rise could be on account of a rise in crude oil, pr oil prices. The shares surged today after falling over 3% on Wednesday. That was owing to mixed financial results from the past 12 months. Osnet reported revenue of $1,924.5 million, down 2.7% in financial year 2020. That's with a financial year ending 31st of March 2021. Even though the revenue stood lower, the company says that it was a robust effort despite challenging external environment. And finally, here's the last gainer on our list for today. The consumer stock Elders rose just over 3% to the day's high of $12.15. The stock rose despite no major positive update by the company released today. Consumer stocks are generally considered defensive and usually outperform tech stocks when borrowing costs rise due to inflation. The stock may also have received a sentiment boost after Australia's federal budget 2021 to 2022 proposed billions in new spending to secure a recovery from the pandemic. The company will release its financial results for the six months to the 31st of March 2021 on the 17th of May 2021. That's all from me for now on the Market Movers. Stay tuned with Calkine TV for more live market updates 
We'll be back very shortly with more news on the markets, the economy, diverse themes and sectors. I'm Rachel signing off for Kalkine TV.